Take a seat, Sergeant Griffin. Now that you've completed your OSS training, we need you in active service. Immediately. In fact, tonight. One of our operatives has uncovered evidence of a top-secret Axis summit planned for tonight, somewhere in Singapore. We need to know what those bastards are up to. One of our Nisei operatives will make contact, a private first-class Tanaka. He'll brief you upon arrival. Additionally, the Limeys have an SOE operative underground there, a Major Bromley. He's kind of a wild card, so keep your eyes peeled. That's the mission. And remember, we're depending on you. Tanaka, Private First Class. I'll be your guide and translator for our little midnight tour here. We'd better get moving. The Colonel... Okay. Here's the intel I have on the summit. The Axis have taken over the best hotel in the city. Our Commander Shima is in charge of the whole thing. Nobody knows who he is or what his plan is, but security will be very tight. Rumor has it that a whole company of secret police work for him. Keep it, Mom. I'll do the talk.
Drop! Shima's gonna turn the city upside down looking for us now. I'll go throw them off your trail. Lose them in the alleys and I'll meet you at the hotel. done for.
Major Philip Bromley, SOE, at your service. Arrived in 32, went underground when the bleeding Japs took over. Now, you were heading for that tea party at the hotel, right? Follow me. Have you there in no time. a certain German colonel in the hope of uh, relieving him of his uniform. He should be passing through this whole plaza. Yeah, lad, take these caltrops, mind the sharp points. When I get the word, toss them under the tires of the staff car. I'll stuff them up right nice. Secure his uniform and we'll be on our way. Right. Well, lad, this is about as far as I can safely go. Head down here. You'll be outside the hotel right quick. Well, I'm not good at this farewell gaff, so uh, good luck, mate. Take this ammo. I've lost the gun anyway. Don't you? It's me, Tanaka! Oh boy. Swell uniform. Uh, a little loose in the waist, but it'll do. Come on, Colonel Candler. We don't want you to be late. Your vehicle, sir.
All right, Griffin. Better start thinking in German. You're on, pal. Welcome to Singapore, Colonel Kendler. Now, if you would be so kind as to follow me. Enjoy your stay. I am pleased to have impressed you, honored guests. As we Japanese form the Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere, we have discovered much wealth in the other nations of the region. This goal will secure the future of Japan. But what of the present? The gold cannot buy more weapons or more ships. But what might it purchase? May I introduce you to General Borov? For a handsome reward, the General has assured me that soon there will be a new leader in Russia. One who can guarantee peace with Germany. Now, the German head of state would never accept this plan. But there are elements within his own high command who would strike him down and replace him with a man whose vision of the future is unclouded. Their representative has joined us. The imposter! What? What is this? That's my uniform! <laughs> Didn't think I'd leave you with the sticky thing. Let's <laughs> go. 
End of the line, lad. Hope you see. the OSS. Our only chance is to find out where the gold is and stop it from being moved. I think I still have a few friends in Burma. Along with successfully occupying much of the Pacific, the Japanese Golden Lily team began a systematic pillaging of Asian wealth. The team looted thousands of metric tons of gold and valuables from Chinese cities. The largest load was collected by General Yamashita after his conquest of Singapore, the repository of many hidden British and French assets. The one obstacle the Japanese faced was getting their hoard back to the homeland. At first, the enemy relied on naval transport. However, after Allied forces picked up on this tactic and began hitting the Emperor's Navy hard, the Japanese began securing their treasure in underground mines. Dear Joe, last month we had a big storm and the elm in the backyard came down. Sorry to say, your old treehouse was smashed. Donnie's gonna be awfully upset when he gets home. Mom found his magazines in the wreckage and put them in the trash. So that's where he was hiding them. After the stump was cleared, Mom planted a victory garden. Between tending her crops and volunteering at the Red Cross, she's keeping busy. I'm sure you've heard about all the shortages here. I had to save up a month's worth of sugar ration stamps to make Dad's birthday cake, and the tires on the car are bald as a cue ball. But we don't mind these little sacrifices because we know it helps all of you fighting for us overseas. We think of you and Donnie constantly and pray for your safe return. Write back when you can, big brother. Much love, Mary. <laughs> 